My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball, and what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced, the insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top and then slowly coming down, trace the line and do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstisGolf.com if you have any questions. What I want you to do, one is a right arm only drill. You put your left thumb against your sternum uh -huh. and you turn back just as if you were going to throw a baseball. Take the club back to right here and then move your right shoulder down underneath your chin and forward. And so just as if you were skipping a rock, you're going to hit a one arm shot. The reason I'm emphasizing that as a drill is you have, you're not really getting to your left side. Your upper body moves away from the ball. You stand up, your right leg is sort of straightening there. There's no push from the ground. You're not generating any, what we call, okay, so ground force reaction is linear force, which is straight line force that way to generate lateral shift. See, you need to get over here with your left hip. And you can see how dead your legs are. Mm -hmm. They're really not doing anything. So we got to get your, introduce your lower body to the game of golf. What does that look like? That looks like if we put a line here, his left knee and his right knee, his left knee's going that way, his right knee's going that way. Flexed. Now watch the bump. There's the shift. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would like to see. Good shoulder turn. Before my hands start coming down, let me hit right. the like Yeah, up. right. So you're just really not getting that shift of the lower body. So essentially, your upper body is still behind the ball when you're hitting it. it. Albeit it's not much, but it is. It, you know, you can see how much different. You see this reverse K look in the, uh -huh. that right knee is sort of moving that way. So. One of the drills I'm going to have you do besides the right arm only drill is this impact drill. You're going to go to impact, roll the right ankle inward so the outside of the right shoe comes up. Start in that position, then take a back swing, and then try to return to that position. Overemphasize this lateral shift of the lower body.